boys and girls, welcome back today. Today we're going to visit a big rooster, the one that goes and learn the story in the Bible from it. But before that, we're going to sing a lovely song, song about the Easter story. Here we go. song i really really love that about hosanna let's go now and visit the rooster and see what all the crowing's about here we go g'day boys and girls can anyone tell me what animal this is behind me it's not a chicken it's a rooster and very very close to here it's kfc and i've come across this big rooster in the middle of a big roundabout and it's a big big chicken it's a rooster and i thought what story in the bible it's got a rooster in it and of course it's got one of the most famous stories in all of the bible and it's a rooster and it's about peter remember peter was one of those disciples he was a big strong fisherman because to be a fisherman pulling the fish physically out of the water in a big net you need to have big strong muscles and the lord says follow me and the lord wanted to make them fishers of men catching men human beings about the lord jesus and Peter and all the other disciples, they worked closely with the Lord Jesus for over three years. And Jesus said, my time has come. He just come into Jerusalem and he's walking through the people and he tells the disciples to meet me in the upper room and we're going to have the Last Supper together. And why they're having the Last Supper? Because the, the disciples couldn't really understand what Jesus meant whenever he said the Last Supper. Uh, because he said, it's going to be the Last Supper. And they said, well, we have supper every evening together, breakfast in the morning. But that night, they were going to arrest the Lord Jesus. And they're going to try him, accuse him, and put him on the cross. And he's going to die for the sins of the world. And whenever Jesus was explaining this to the disciples, Peter stood up. The big strong man and said to Jesus, no one's ever going to harm you or arrest you or hurt you. 
because I'm going to want, be the one to protect you. And Jesus said, Peter, before tomorrow morning comes, you are going to deny me three times. And whenever you deny me the third time, you're going to hear the rooster crowing. And whenever you hear the rooster crowing two times, you've just denied me three times. The rooster will crow twice, and you will deny me thrice. And Peter said, Lord, that will never happen. Almost joking and almost offended. How dare you say that? I will protect you, even if it means my death. And that's how serious Peter was in fairness to him. Peter was going to be put to the test. But as Jesus said, after they had the Last Supper, he said, let's go to the Garden of Gethsemane. And now they were in the garden. So while Jesus was praying with his disciples, the Bible says the disciples fell asleep. And he woke them up and he said, can you not pray with me for one hour? And they fell asleep again and he just let them sleep. And whenever Jesus was praying, the Bible says his sweat, he was sweating. And his sweat was like great sweat drops of blood. So much was the pain and the anguish and the torture and the thought of being crucified on the, on the cross for the sins of the world. And whenever uh, Judas was the one who betrayed Jesus for 30 pieces of silver, whenever he brought the soldiers and the religious leaders into the garden, he said, the one I kiss on the cheek is him. Judas betrayed Jesus. But Peter is the focus now. And whenever Peter and all the disciples woke up, realized what was happening, they ran off and they were afraid. They were scared. And they arrested Jesus and they took him into, and this is the middle of the night, when all the people were sleeping, because there would be an uproar of the people if they arrested Jesus at daytime. And whenever they took him in and they tried him, and they sped upon him, they slapped him, they accused him. Peter, the Bible says he knew what was going on, but he did not publicly stand up to defend Jesus. He did not publicly stand up to protect Jesus. He was a coward. He was afraid. He was scared so much for big, strong Peter. And whenever Peter came, he, he realized where Jesus was. There was a fire outside, and he's warming his hands by the fire. And the Bible says, a little girl says, you're one of Jesus' disciples. He goes, I'm not. Denied him once. Another person came along and said, I know you. You're a follower of Jesus. He goes, I'm not. Twice he denied Jesus. The third time, a man came and he said, I know you. You belong to Christ. You're a follower of Jesus. I've seen you with him. And he goes, I'm not. And Peter, with anger, he began to stand up and he began to curse and to swear. He said, I don't even know who you're talking about. I don't even know who this man Jesus is. I've never seen him, never been with him. And just like that, <coughs> the rooster crowed. Peter looked back. And at that very moment, the Lord Jesus walked out and his eyes met with Peter. And the Bible says Peter went off and he wept bitterly because he just denied who Jesus was. And the Bible says, if you deny me, I will deny you. If you're ashamed of me, I am ashamed of you before my Father in heaven. And that was probably one of the saddest stories in the Bible. When Peter, who walked so close to with Jesus, he would have prayed with him, he would have preached for him, he would have stood by him, sitting at the feet of Jesus, and whenever Jesus was going to wash his feet, Peter was embarrassed and said, Lord, I don't want you to wash my feet. Peter, if I can't wash your feet, I want nothing to do with you. And moments before this, Peter said, Lord, wash my head and my body and my feet. I want, all, I want, you, I want you to take all of me. And within hours, Peter said, I don't even know who Jesus is. And boys and girls, adults too, the pressure will come when friends at school and work not in church, not amongst your friends, but people will say, are you a Christian? Do you belong to Jesus? Do you pray to God? Do you stand up for him? And you're either going to say, yes, I do, or no, I don't. And it's easy to say, no, I don't. It's easy to be like Peter, to deny Jesus. But remember, if we deny him, he denies us. If we're ashamed of him, he's ashamed of us. But don't make the mistake Peter done. But Peter was still loved by the Lord Jesus. And he was nowhere to be seen whenever Jesus went all the way to the cross and laid down his life and he died. The Bible says without the shedding of blood, there's no forgiveness, no remission of sin to Jesus. For us to be forgiven, he had to go all the way to the cross. And he did. And he laid down his life and he died. And he was buried. 
But praise God, on the third day, he rose again from the dead. Then he went out looking for Peter. Peter was fishing. Jesus was on the shore. He said, excuse me, who are you? My name's Jesus. And Peter, with excitement, with, with, he couldn't believe it. He jumped out of the boat again. Remember, Peter walked out of the boat and he walked in the water. This time he jumped out of the boat and he swam towards Jesus. Jesus said, Peter, do you love me? Yes. Peter, do you really love me? Yes. Peter, do you really, really love me? Why are you asking me three times do I love you? You see, G Peter denied Jesus three times. And the Lord Jesus was making sure that Peter really, really loved him. Because Peter was going to be a champion for God. And P Jesus wanted somebody who would never, ever again deny him or be embarrassed to know him. Because Peter was going to be a major pillar in the church of Jesus Christ. He was going to be a preacher of the gospel. He was going to be a teacher. And he was going to suffer much abuse and persecution for the cause of the Lord Jesus. Whenever you look at the first and second Peter, wonderful books in the Bible, this is Peter. And don't forget, when you make a mistake or do be embarrassed, do deny Jesus or ashamed of him, pray and ask him to forgive you. And he will forgive you and start again and march on for God. So remember the rooster. The rooster crowed and reminded me when Peter denied Jesus. But Peter, Jesus forgive him and Peter marched on for God, making up for lost time. That's it. Well, boys and girls, did you enjoy the big rooster making lots of noise? Of course, that's the story of Peter whenever he denied the Lord Jesus and the cock rolled, the rooster crowed, and he looked back and his eyes met Jesus and he wept bitterly, saying, I don't even know who Jesus is three times. But of course, the Lord forgave him, restored him, and used him greatly to serve him all of his days. We're going to finish with an Easter hallelujah song. Here we go.
took from his head the thorny crown and wrapped him in a linen gown then laid him down to rest inside the tomb the holes in his hands his feet inside now in our hearts we know he Three days went by, again they came to move the stone, to bless the slain with oil and spice, anointing, hallelujah. But as they went to move the stone, they saw that they were not alone, for Jesus So boys and girls, that's a lovely song finishing there with the Easter Hallelujah. And that was the story of the rooster today as we lead up to Easter. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.